Hi, this is Nick DiCiaccio with TE Systems, and we are very pleased to introduce our latest version of AnyNode, our software SBC version 3.20. Version 3.20 has loads of great new features, such as route supervision, media recording, and Azure Active Directory support. Come with us as we show off this great new version of AnyNode. Media recording is necessary in many businesses and institutions, such as call centers, fire departments, police, and law offices. Recordings are important for quality assurance and for the legal protection of contracts or terminations. Even verbally confirmed contracts can be documented and archived. There are many other possible applications, such as providing legal evidence on threatening phone calls, measuring and securing service and call quality, process and quality optimization, and training and coaching. Here is where AnyNode comes into play with a basic and easy to use media recording feature. Please note, a separate media recording license is required to use this feature. The access to media recording can only be utilized by users who have a media recorder role. Please note the applicable legal regulations for voice recordings in your jurisdiction. You can activate the media recording in the appropriate route of the routing forward profile. During an active media recording, AnyNode provides a mouse over icon in the lower taskbar for a clearer overview. Choose whether the media should be recorded at the incoming or outgoing node. It's possible to change some recording settings in a created media recording object. In businesses or institutions where no calls without recordings are allowed, we recommend using the default setting to cancel the call when recording errors occur. This will ensure that you always remain on the safe side legally regarding your media recording. Any node can record calls in different formats. Depending on further processing, you can choose between the following formats. XZREC, an internal format containing all data, WAVE, or G711. Recording in the default setting of WAVE will enable the file to be played with any media player available on your PC. You have easy access to all files through the AnyNode front end. For best integration in a third-party application, we recommend using the new REST API to access all recordings, limiting the access to a new user role called Media Recorder ensures limited access to the SPC backend. Calls with Media Recording can be found easily with an appropriate icon in the call history. A double click on the call will open the call history entry with the ability to download the media file. The maximum number of days for keeping the recordings in any node can be configured in the monitor settings. This keeps your system clean and you'll be able to meet all privacy regulations like GDPR, DSG, VO. Azure Active Directory Support AnyNode 3.20 has some improvements for Microsoft's cloud-based identity and access management service, Azure Active Directory or Azure AD. The AnyNode Directory Assistant makes it easy to look up Azure dial strings in just a few clicks. You need your tenant ID, also called directory ID in Azure, your application name, your client ID, and password. You will find your tenant ID under properties in the directory ID box in your Microsoft Azure admin portal. It's also necessary to set up AnyNode as an application within your Azure admin portal. You can check the connection to the Azure Active Directory immediately after configuration. Any node can look up given dial strings in the Azure dial string directory with a test button. Otherwise, all dial strings that are currently stored in the Azure Active Directory will be displayed. All dial strings in the Azure dial string directory can be used later for routing. REST API Server Nothing is more powerful than the integration in existing backends. With just a few API calls, you can script or manage any node without any access to the front end. We've now extended the REST API support from earlier versions where it's possible to access the call history via HTTP request. 
import and export of any node configuration, activating and deactivating any node tracing, reading and setting the maintenance mode, request license with an LOD key or import a license file, and reading all information available in the dashboard in real time. We also provide a PowerShell plugin, which can be used for the REST API functions. Thus, administrative processes can be automated via PowerShell. Route Supervision. The Route Supervision feature can help you minimize administration efforts. To meet requirements from customers, larger sizes of routing tables are needed. These tables are difficult to create and maintain. Usually this data already exists in an existing source. Especially in scenarios where different SBC instances are deployed, you have just one source. Often, customers have an existing database with blacklisted phone numbers or customers with an active-inactive service level agreement, or SLA, can be blocked or routed. Next to routing decisions, any node can change call details such as the destination number or display name. Any node already has many routing options available, like LDAP or using a static directory. Newer applications support more and more REST API interfaces. This is often the only way to communicate with services in the cloud. AnyNode provides a route supervision assistant to configure these queries. There are numerous possibilities to use this feature in a practical environment. We'd like to introduce a couple to you here. Example one, in the event of an emergency call in a company, another system is automatically informed that the emergency call has been made. This system can then generate messages in a variety of forms, such as email, chat messages, and database entries. Example two, in a hospital, calls are routed to the number of staff currently on duty based on an external data source. An improved trace analyzer. You can analyze SIP signaling flows with the AnyNode Trace Analyzer in order to troubleshoot issues quickly and effectively when using AnyNode within your VoIP infrastructure. The main advantage to using the Trace Analyzer over conventional developer tools is that it is one single tool which can be and is used by everyone, from on-site administrators all the way up to the core developers of AnyNode here at TE Systems. We've placed a special emphasis on ease of use of our Trace Analyzer tool, and we have added some new features to increase the range of functionality. Only in a few cases, the end customer can supply concrete information on his node configuration or in the software versions in the event of a support inquiry. The use of the new upload configuration feature reduces the processing time and increases the quality of support. You can upload the configuration included in a trace to the AnyNode front end. The new button, called Show Configuration, displays a dialog to collect address information and credentials. As a result, the full range of the uploaded configuration belonging to the trace can now be accessed via another installation of any node. The default commit protection will prevent your own configuration from being overwritten with the imported configuration. A mouse click on the commit protection will revert the configuration to the configuration before the import. Transactions. The Trace Analyzer is now equipped with a list of all transactions that are initiated by the AnyNode user agent or the remote user agent. For each transaction, the type and response code are provided. Failures are marked in red so they can be easily identified. For a selected transaction, all messages from the initial request to the final response, including all interim responses, are shown. This can be used to determine whether the remote station answers option packets. Some more improvements. New icons for system values. New icons in the lower front end bar show important system values like CPU usage, RAM, disk space, and active sessions at a glance. It is not necessary to search for those values in your operating system. Disk space warning. To minimize storage problems for tracing media data, a new chart has been added to the active charts which indicates the degree of filling of the first hard disk. It is possible to configure warnings regarding the remaining hard disk space. You will also get an entry in the event log if the disk space reaches the warning or critical limit. Time-based session limits per node. It's now possible to set the number of sessions per hour, minute, and second. The new fields contain time units. As soon as a value has been set, 
any note checks that the maximum number of calls per unit of time has been reached with the new calls. In this case, the calls rejected. These limits can be used for network resource utilization. This feature is very useful to preserve load-sensitive network elements against external damaging load influences triggered by individual events, such as denial-of-service attacks. User Directory as a Route Filter any Node 3.20 now supports the determination of a user directory as a route filter. In combination with the Azure Active Directory integration, calls can be routed directly to Microsoft Teams direct routing or an existing PBX. Subscription License Any Node is now available in a subscription licensing model. With the subscription model, you get the same version of Any Node that you would get with a purchase license. In addition, with the ability to tap into all the great features in any node and to upgrade. You will have all the security and reliability required by the market today. With the subscription model for any node, your company can improve its balance sheet because capital expenditure costs can now be converted into operating costs. The subscription licensing of any node makes scaling for your environment easy. With up to 2,000 sessions, you can respond quickly to changes in call volumes. And remember, all any node features are available, including the software upgrade service. This license requires that you install the latest any node version and that the server has the ability to communicate with our license server once a month. The license is renewed independently. Renew button for SUS licenses. The currently available capabilities of your AnyNode system depend on the properties of all installed licenses. You will get a full license overview in the Licenses menu. AnyNode 3.20 offers a Renew button for automatically updating Software Upgrade Service licenses. Our Software Upgrade Service makes it easy to update your existing version of AnyNode to take advantage of all the latest enhancements and features. The process is very simple. Order a Software Upgrade Service Renewal or a new Software Upgrade Service from our sales department at sales at tesystems.com. The order will be processed promptly and you will receive a confirmation and a certificate via email. After you have received the certificate, you only need to use the Renew button to extend your software upgrade service expiration date. Please note that any node needs an internet connection to our licensed server. Subscription licenses are updated automatically every day. Should this not function, it will be tried again the next day. The subscription license will be updated to the latest version to the very last day of license validity. Domain name settings and host name settings. Setting the domain name and host name on a Linux system was always challenging. With this new feature, you'll be able to change the name in seconds. New provider profiles. As always, the Node Interconnection Assistant in the Wizard saves you time and does most of the configuration work for you by providing numerous predefined system profiles of VoIP providers, PBXs, and other VoIP systems. It takes care of the major part of the configuration in a few simple steps. AnyNode 3.20 offers predefined configuration profiles of new VoIP providers based on extensive testing in our lab here at TE Systems and on customer feedback. We're always adding new profiles to our template list. In case you miss a SIP provider or PBX, please get in touch with us. Usually, we'll be able to do a certification and you will find the provider in one of our next releases. Extended Dashboard. Any node provides a clear, easy to understand dashboard. With the dashboard, you get a new overview of the status of any node showing all you need to know immediately. You can see the status of all your nodes. If everything is functioning normally, the status is displayed in green. If a connection has failed, the status is displayed in red. With up-to-date information such as the state of registrations, added certificates, and all installed licenses, your system's status is more transparent to you, allowing you to make adjustments and optimizations quickly and effectively. The AnyNode 3.20 dashboard is equipped with some more details such as Azure dial string directories, REST client route supervisions, and extended license details. New event log entries. 
you can view all the events surrounding your AnyNode under Events. For example, restarts of AnyNode services, such as the Monitor service, will be logged here. Events that affect the functioning of AnyNode are marked in color. Blue is normal system information, yellow for warnings, and errors in red. Specific improvements are now easy to make. After watching that video, I'm sure that you just can't wait to try out AnyNode version 3.20 and see all these fantastic new features for yourself. To do so, first, if you're a current AnyNode customer, please ensure that your license has a valid software upgrade service on it. If you're not sure, feel free to contact our sales team and they can assist you. If you're not a current customer, you can download a free trial version from AnyNode by putting in a request at anynode.de. And best of all, this free trial version is not limited at all in its AnyNode function. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you found the video to be informative and we'll look forward to seeing you as an AnyNode customer or if you're a current customer, I'm, we're sure you're going to love version 3.20. Have a wonderful day, everyone.